died January 18, 2020. Robert McLennan, who has died after a long illness at the age of 83, served as a Scottish Member of Parliament for three different parties and was, albeit briefly, the last leader of the Social Democratic Party SVP, which had sought to break the mold of British politics during the Thatcher era. When David Owen resigned as SVP leader following the 1987 general election, McLennan tried to convince him to change his mind and, when that failed, was initially reluctant to stand himself. Then Shirley Williams, another of the original Gang of Four, who had split from Labour in 1981, persuaded the rather diffident McLennan to do the honourable thing. His tenure was brief, he served as leader for just a year, although it was long enough to earn a latex puppet on the popular ITV show, Spitting Image, and McLennan was almost entirely preoccupied with the creation of another new party, initially known as the Social and Liberal Democrats, or Democrats for short, of which he became joint interim leader. Eventually this morphed into the Liberal Democrats, with Patty Ashdown at the helm. Robert Adam Ross McLennan, later known as Bob, was born in Glasgow on June 26, 1936, one of four children to Sir Hector, the eminent gynaecologist and chairman of the Scottish Tourist Board, and his wife Isabel Adam, also a doctor and public health activist. Educated at Glasgow Academy and later Balliol College, Oxford, and Trinity College, Cambridge, McLennan also studied in the United States, at New York's Columbia University. A lawyer, McLennan was called to the bar at Grayson in 1962, thereafter specializing in international law, as seated back in New York with the Wall Street firm, Sullivan and Cromwell, between 1963-1964. Also interested in labor politics, as a child he had been close to the Greenock MP Hector McNeil, a friend of his father's, he made becoming an MP appear easy. Shortly after expressing an interest in standing for Parliament, he was selected to fight Caithness and Sutherland at the 1966 general election and won, ousting Liberal George Mackey by just 64 votes. Within a year, McLennan had been appointed Parliamentary Private Secretary to fellow Scots MP George Thompson, who was Secretary of State for Commonwealth Affairs and, from 1969, Minister Without Portfolio. In 1968, he married Helen Noyes of Cambridge, Massachusetts, daughter of the U.S. Judge Ami Cutter and widow of Paul H. Noyes, a friend of McLennan's. Noyes brought a daughter from her previous marriage and went on to have another daughter and son with Bob. Gentle Jenkins at Laird reformer and Highland idealist, observed one profile of McLennan, pro-market and pro-American, a devolutionist with strong, centuries-old local roots. The Jenkins in question was Roy, leader of Labour's pro-common market wing. Bob was an ardent Europhile when his party was not serving on the Council of Europe in Western European Union in the early 1970s. In 1971 he delivered a letter from 89 pro-market Labour MPs to the party's chief whip and later resigned from the front bench over Harold Wilson's commitment to a referendum on continuing membership, which was held in 1975. Back in office after 1974, McLennan was appointed Parliamentary Undersecretary at the Department of Prices and Consumer Protection, where he served under Shirley Williams. In Brussels on ministerial business, he occasionally saw Roy Jenkins, now President of the European Commission. Together they developed a tacit agreement that it was a matter of when they both left the increasingly fractious Labour Party, not if. In 1981 McLennan, back on the opposition front bench's foreign affairs spokesman, declared his support for the Council for Social Democracy and became one of the first dozen Labour MPs to defect to the new SDP. Lacking a formal constitution, it fell to him and William Goodhart to draw one up. Siding with the new party's radicals, McLennan incorporated social democratic principles, including a one-member one-vote party electoral system. Although the SDP polled well at the 1983 election, it failed to win a significant number of seats, with most defectors losing their constituencies. McLennan, in Caithness and Sutherland, was a rare exception, and thereafter he played an active role in Parliament and the media. 
Having backed Roy Jenkins as SDP leader in 1982, he worked well with David Owen in the 1983-87 parliament. Although he was acutely aware of his shortcomings, he ignores everyone who doesn't play the role of Little Sir Echo. Reflecting his rural constituency, McLennan was the SDP spokesman on agriculture, fisheries and food for six years from 1981. At 1987 election, McLennan and Charles Kennedy, with whom he was close, significantly increased their majorities, but the mold of British politics remained unbroken and the SDP and Liberals finally embarked upon a merger. Although McLennan was keen, in his own words, to keep Owen on board, it was not to be. After a troubled fusion process, McLennan was partly responsible for a shambolic joint policy declaration with Liberal leader David Steele, he became Liberal Democrat spokesman on home affairs and the arts, switching to constitutional affairs and culture in 1994, when he also beat two former Liberals to become president of the new party, a post, he held until 1998. Appointed to the Privy Council in 1997, McLennan retired from the House of Commons at the 2001 election and was appointed to the House of Lords as Baron McLennan of Rogart. In the Upper House, he served on its EU subcommittee and was Liberal Democrat spokesman on the Cabinet Office in Scotland from 2005. Often a nervous and hesitant public speaker, McLennan was a transparently honest politician with few enemies, highly intelligent, deeply humane. As a barrister, he had acted against police entrapment of gay men in 1984, and a diligent constituency MP. He is survived by Helen and their three children. His brother David, a theater producer, and sister Elizabeth, an actress, predeceased him in 2014 and 2015 respectively. Lindsay Britton Let's Block Ads why? 